Hi everyone, I'm Jose. And I'm Michaela, and we are Master Certified Ascension Coaches with Twin Flames Universe. And we are Twin Flames in Harmonious Union. And today we're going to talk about five things that only happen with your true twin flame. And before we start, I just wanted to say that some of these five things may happen in any relationship, you know, any, like one or two of them. But the difference with your twin flame is that they embody all five of these things perfectly every time without fail. And it's, it's perfect. Yes, and they really happen. It's not something like a little of this, I have in my relationship. No, it's like it's completely. Yeah, and completely. you get all of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfectly, yeah. So yeah. number one is that they mirror you perfectly. Mm -hmm. And there may be many people in your life that you will meet in any situation that mirrors you because you are the creator of your reality. And so, of course, you'll experience mirroring. But your twin flame is literally your perfect mirror. Yep. Perfect. That means every little thing, every little detail, every misalignment or every strength, you know, whatever it is, your twin flame mirrors perfectly, instantly. So, mm -hmm. you know, we see that happening quite often where twin flames, you know, you may get into a, an argument and like, you know, make a choice of separation, for example, and you choose to separate and then your twin flame instantly mirrors you. Yep. Or this can look like, you know, your twin flame instantly blocking you when you make a certain choice, you know? And also when you clear those blocks, they instantly mirror the change. Mm -hmm. And so, did you want to say? Yeah, about this mirroring you perfectly. As you said, it can happen in every relationship you have in your life. But the difference with your twin flame is that they know you at such a deeper level, such a deep level within you because they are one with you. Mm -hmm. So that means you cannot hide anything from them. And by this, I mean, if you have a block and you are kind of avoiding it, like maybe you will do in a normal relationship, it's not going to work because they can feel that from miles away. Mm -hmm. And they are going to mirror your energy because it's in your consciousness and they are one with it. Mm -hmm. So you cannot hide it anywhere. So the best thing to do is heal it. Yep. So that brings us to point number two, and it's that they change as you change. Mm -hmm. Perfectly again. This is like the next step to mirroring. So your twin flame is going to mirror your blocks. And so let's say you have a block with self, self-worth or self-value and you mm -hmm. don't value yourself. Well, your twin flame will mirror that, you know, and that's the whole runner chaser thing. Yeah. Chasing your twin flame actually means that you're not properly valuing yourself because you're seeking something in them rather than realizing that you are perfect already. And so as you start to clear these blocks and you start to realize your value and your worth and heal your self-love, your twin flame instantly changes and they're instantly going to, to show you that. And it looks like, you know, well, for me in our relationship, I cleared my core block to harmonious union and it was my big lesson for my whole spiritual journey and it was worthiness where I believed I was unworthy of love. I really had a deeply rooted like trauma, like trauma, you know, like a traumatic pain. But when I finally cleared that block, literally the next day is when we came into Harmonious mm -hmm. Union. So it's like an instant, you know, mirror. Yeah. And my whole life changed, your whole life changed. And it was right after both of us mm -hmm. chose to heal our core blocks. Yes, and at the same time, she was moving through her core block, I moved through mine. Mm. It happened immediately. And at this moment, we didn't know each other. We didn't know each other at all. I mean, I... We were, um, well, we, were we knew each other, we were aware of each other, but we didn't have that relationship. We didn't know we were twin flames. Exactly, we didn't know that either. So yeah. it happened automatically, mm -hmm. even with no contact, apparently. Yeah, because we're literally one. So yep. we're going, you and your twin flame are always going through the same thing at the same time on the inside. Yep. Even if it looks different on the outside, it's mm -hmm. the same. So that brings us to point number three, and it's that they're always on the exact same page as you the same page because mm -hmm. again you and your twin flame unlike other relationships you and your twin flame share one consciousness mm -hmm. and the way jeff and shalia describe it in their book twin flames finding your ultimate lover is that twin flames come from the same blueprint soul blueprint you know just the way that physical bodies have dna your soul also has dna that makes you who you are as a soul and your twin flame is the per one person you know in all of creation that shares the exact same soul dna and blueprint as mm -hmm. you and so it means that you make the same core choices, you share the same consciousness, and you you are the same at the core. You're not carbon copies of one another, but you are 
literally so intimately connected that mm -hmm. you share one consciousness between the two of you. Yeah. And so that's why you're always on the same page. Your twin flame is not the kind of person that will one day you'll want one thing and then they'll want another thing and eventually you'll go different ways or it will like break your relationship mm -hmm. up. Not with your twin flame. With your twin flame, you always want the same things at the same time because you are one. Yeah. Separation is impossible. So yeah, so that's a very unique thing for twin flames. Like the way that Jeff and Shalia often describe it is that um, you're an eternal soul. And so that means you're going to make many, many, many choices mm. that are going to bring you in many different directions. And so you may have really close, you know, like maybe soul family members or really close friends or people that, you know, you really resonate with. Well, eventually on your eternal journeys, this person is going to choose something that takes them in this direction to go yeah. experience this thing. And you may go in this direction. And at some point you will go and you may come back together, but you will go in separate directions. But with your twin flame, you literally always choose the same thing. So it's like, uh, it's, there's no separation. They're always going to be want exactly what you want. They're always going to choose exactly what you choose. And there's never going to be a point that you outgrow each other. Yep. And I think that is one of the most beautiful things about having your twin flame that is the person that always gets you mm. in that moment. It's it's, yeah, it's beautiful. You have a partner in everything you do in life. And as you progress in your spiritual journey, this is the person that remains always, mm -hmm. no matter what. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's something very beautiful about taking this path and why all the inner work that you need to do to achieve your union and harmonious union is totally worth it. Here. Yeah, and with your twin flame, you may have arguments and miscommunications, but the difference between your twin flame and like being in a soulmate relationship with someone who's not your twin flame is that when you and your twin flame take the time to work through the upset or the block or the argument that you're having at the core there's always perfect agreement you're always actually on the same page and you're just miscommunicating every single time and so when you have an argument or a fight with your twin flame it's actually taking you deeper into yeah. communication together and deeper into oneness and so you get clear on what the block is or what the problem is and then you realize oh we were on the same page. We, were, we wanted the same thing. We were just, you know, miscommunicating based on maybe traumas or triggers, upsets, upsets you know, and yeah. you heal those together. And so that's the thing is like in a twin flame union, your arguments do not fracture the relationship. They actually strengthen it when you work through them. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're with someone who's not your twin flame, arguments and disagreements can harm and do fracture the relationship because like that person is not one with you they're not meant to be with you the way your twin flame is yeah because even when you resolve it you may not be in the same place or desire the same thing with another person mm -hmm. but with your twin flame is always the same at the core yes yep. perfect so that will bring us to the fifth and final point oh no sorry fourth point so it's that your lifestyle <clears throat> align perfectly and that's very like similar to what we just talked yeah. about because you are literally one. Your lifestyles are gonna align so mm -hmm. well. Like, you know, for us when we got together, like our sleeping schedules, our goals and dreams for our ideal lifestyle, like all the um, eating goals, you know, just like health <laughs> and all of that. Like it was all this very like it was all we wanted the same thing there. And like our yeah. lives like really easily integrated. Yeah, our work ethic, the mm -hmm. place where we wanted to live, we were always in the same place. Same ambitions. Same ambition, same uh, same everything. Yeah, and like the way that yeah. we want our house to be clean. I mean, I had some organization issues. Yeah, we had some upsets about that. But like yeah. I want this thing in this way and she wants it this way, but once we got clear, mm -hmm. sometimes we discovered an even better way mm -hmm. that we both loved. So it's okay to move through that. Those things, you know, doesn't mean that it's not your twin flame. It's like, hey, I like this and she likes this and I don't like that. So, okay. Why? There is work to do. Mm -hmm. Why don't you like that? Why is her way or my way? Maybe it's a better way. Mm -hmm. So it's a process of getting clear together. You need to have communication mm -hmm. to get That's clear. Key. Yeah, it's okay. key. You cannot uh, expect everything to be perfect from day one and they are already ascended, ascended and perfect with you no you are melting um merging two lives so it's going to be a process of harmonizing and, communica yeah, and harmonizing. communicating yeah mm -hmm. so it's very important yeah and all of these points you may or may not have in your union already but they are things that as you choose to develop them they happen, they, they happen very naturally for every single twin flame yep. 
So that does bring us to the fifth and final point. Yes, I would one. Yes, and that is that <laughs> you never ever get bored with them. You, you never get bored. You never lose interest. You never run out of things to talk about. It's like yeah. always, it's always <laughs> like, I don't know, interesting, entertaining. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, in a normal relationship, maybe you get bored of each other. I mean, a soulmate relationship, you get bored of each other after a while because there is nothing more to explore. But with your twin flame, the more time you have in the relationship, the more you like it. Mm -hmm. And the more, the deeper you can go with them. And yeah, it's delightful. Mm -hmm. It gets better every day. Yeah, there's, you never run out of conversation topics. You never get bored. You never feel like, eh, you know, we don't really, he doesn't get me or we're not interested in the same thing, not on the same level as me. Like yeah. you're always in the, <laughs> you're perfectly matched with your twin flame and they're always right there with you. And, they are always going to get you. They'll get you in your sense of humor. Yeah, all of the things. Like, there's just, I mean, I never feel like we don't have something to talk about. There's just like an ongoing conversation. Yeah, and we spend all of our time together, basically. Yeah, like literally like 99% of our time mm -hmm. we spend together. And like, we don't get tired of each other. We don't get angry at each other. I mean, nope. you know, there are fights and stuff. But like, at the core, there's total harmony and just like, love between us because we have worked on ourselves you know we've purified yeah. our consciousness and we have healed the blocks to love and so we have a very compatible harmonious relationship that is always deepening and getting better mm -hmm. so that is something that happens when you take the time to really work on your blocks and like work on the take the spiritual journey of healing your mm -hmm. vibration it does result in just like a really interesting and beautiful relationship that always deepens and always yeah. gets more interesting you don't ever like plateau or get bored with each other. Nope. Yep. And uh, that's something that I remember Jeff and Shalia used to talk about before we achieved harmonious union that mm. he and Jeff and Shalia talk about how they have just been having one long ongoing conversation for as long as they've known each other. Mm -hmm. And that from their very first conversation, they never stopped talking. And I mm -hmm. think we're the same. Yep. We never stopped like talking at all, basically, since we first realized we were twin flames. Nope. And there is a, yeah, because like your twin flame is you, mm -hmm. and so you never really run out of things to talk about with yourself. You know, there's always something you're thinking about and yeah. going deeper <laughs> in. So it's the same with your twin flame. Mm -hmm. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you do would like help with clearing the blocks and harmonizing your relationship with your twin flame, working with a certified ascension coach or master certified ascension mm -hmm. coach will greatly benefit you because. Having someone who understands this process be able to support you through healing your blocks so you can manifest a relationship with your twin flame that is healthy and harmonious and really balanced the way that we described here. Mm -hmm. Having someone to support you really makes a difference. Yeah. So be sure to check out all of the links below. You can get matched with an Ascension coach through the Twin Flames Universe website. And you can also try our eight lesson introductory course. It's a free introductory course written by Jeff and Shalia on the Twin Flames Universe website as well. So be sure to check all of this out and we'll see you in our next video. See you. Bye.